Welcome everyone. This is your own channel Learner Saga. In this video, we will discuss the concluding portion of the story Kathmandu, which is written by Bikram Seth. But before we start, I like to request you to press the like button, subscribe the channel if you are new, and also to share and comment on the video. So without wasting any time, let's begin. In our previous two videos, we have discussed the narrator's visit to Kathmandu while he was returning from China to India. He visited Kathmandu, and he also told us that uh, how he visited the two uh, great places over there. First of all, he visited Pasubatna Temple, and then he visited the Buddhist uh, one, uh, which is Bodhnath Stupa. Um, he also discussed that um, how he came back to India by the airlines, by Nepal airlines. And in this video, we will discuss from paragraph number 6. So, let's start. I look at the flute seller standing in a corner of the square near the hotel. So, the narrator uh, told that he saw a flute seller. The flute seller was standing in a corner of the square. Square means it's a, uh, it's a junction, you may say, from where four side roads goes. Okay. In his hand is a pole with an attachment. At the top from which 50 or 60 bansuris protrude in all directions. Like the quills of a porcupine. It means that in the hand of the flute seller, there is a pole and from which many bansuris or flutes. The writer said 50 or 60. You can see here 50 or 60 bansuris or flutes protrude. Protrude means emerges, comes out in all directions. Like the quills of a porcupine. You know a porcupine is a is an animal. Porcupine is an animal with large stiff pointed feathers. These are called quills. I have written here for you. You can you may note down by pausing the video. Quills means large stiff pointed feathers of porcupine. Porcupine is an animal. You may write here a large rodent with spikes porcupine means a large rodent rodent means any animal which are uh, very similar like uh, the rats so they have spikes so uh, here it means quills of porcupine means as the quills or the feathers of the animal porcupine are very pointed and steep similarly the fruit seller who was holding the pole from which many flutes were protruded in all direction. They are of bamboo. That means the flutes were of bamboo. There are cross flutes and recorders. See students, these are the two different types of flutes. One is cross flute, another one is recorder. Now what is the difference? Cross flutes are the flutes which are held horizontally. Okay, you may have seen Lord Krishna is playing uh, with the flute. So, the way he uh, holds the flute is called cross flute. And the recorders means the flutes that are held vertically. Okay, so cross flutes means the flutes that are held horizontally and recorders means the flutes that are held vertically. From time to time, he stands the pole on the ground, selects a, selects a flute and plays for a minute. The flute seller, what he is doing? He stands the pole on the ground and every now and then he is selecting a particular flute. He is trying to play for a few minutes and then he continues with the other. The sound rises clearly above the noise of the traffic and the hawkers' cries. And the sound that uh, the flutes are producing, they are very high pitched. That's why uh, they can easily uh, beat the traffic or the hawkers' cries. He plays slowly. 
meditatively without excessive display that means the flute seller um, he was not in a mood of uh, playing the flute very quickly rather he was attentively playing his flutes without excessive display and there was no such um, energy in in him you can notice that he is trying to uh, show his skill he was quite normal natural he does not shout out his words and he was as i told that uh, he is very casual and normal he does not shout out his words words this word we have come across in our previous video that means all the things that he is trying to uh, display display for sale here the words means particularly his flutes occasionally he makes a sale but in a curiously off-handed way as if this were incidental to his enterprise so the this kind of line tells us that the flute seller was very com commonplace like person he was very casual and uh, he does not shout out his words that's why whenever he makes a sale he is very relaxed he is off-handed off-handed means it is given in your book you can see casual not showing much interest in his selling and this uh, as if this were incidental that means it is very common to his enterprise to his business the act that he is doing sometimes he breaks off playing sorry sometimes he breaks off playing to talk to the fruit seller so occasionally he takes break um, by talking to the fruit seller I imagine that this has been the pattern of his life for years. That's why he is so commonplace. That's why I see he is so off-handed. He is so casual. I find it difficult to tear myself away from the square. The narrator felt it very difficult to depart from there. To depart from the square. Flute music always does this to me. Why this happened to him? because the narrator loved flute music it is as uh, at once the most universal and most particular of sounds according to the narrator the music of the flute is very universal and very particular there is no culture that does not have its flute the narrator also said that every culture probably has its own flute such as the reed ne, the recorder, the Japanese uh, shaku hachi, the deep bansuri of the Hindustani classical music, the clear or breathy flutes of South America, the high-pitched Chinese flutes. So the narrator here gives a long description. See here. What is the reed ne? It's a particular kind of a reed, uh, reed that is uh, by which the flute is made you can say the recorder we have already discussed this the Japanese shaku hachi shaku hachi is the flute which is held vertically the deep bansuri of Hindustani classical we all know this Hindustani classical music bansuri the clear or breathy flutes of South America which is another kind of flute and lastly the high-pitched Chinese flutes each has its specific fingering and compass fingering means particular pattern how to hold and release the fingers and compass you can see here fingering the way of placing the fingers to play the different notes and compass means here range it waves its own associations it weaves its own associations that means it releases its own associations yet to hear any fluties it seems to me to be drawn into the commonality of all mankind to be moved by music closest in its phrases and sentences to the human voice uh, in a in a word we can say that the, that the narrator is bewitched bewitched while listening to the sound of the flute 
he said uh, as if uh, it is to be drawn into the commonality commonality means common okay commonality you can see the common commonality also commonality and commonality are the same to be removed by music closest in his phrases and sentences to the human voice its motive force too is living breathe it too needs to pause and breathe before it can go on and alike it also needs the um, same thing such as break and again take in air so that we can continue with the process that i can be so affected by few familiar phrases on the bansuri surprises me at first for on the previous occasions that i have returned home after a long absence abroad i have hardly noticed such details and certainly have not invested them with the significance i now do so very interesting thing here it means he is surprised that he is deeply influenced by the sounds of the bansuri never before has he noticed something in such depth as he noticed the flute seller and his wares so this is all about the story student we have completed you can see here it is written by bikram set and it's an extract from heaven lake so before leaving i like to request you if you have any doubt please write to me in the comment section i will try to answer you as soon as possible hoping to meet you in our next video with some new topic goodbye